Romero's first Christmas episode raised the stakes for the show. The continued popularity of films like Die Hard and Home Alone shows that there is a sizable group of viewers who enjoy stories that blend holiday themes with violent action. Many action-adventure television series attempt to appeal to this taste by producing holiday-themed episodes, but few have done so as effectively as Arrow did. In particular, the Arrow Season 1 mid-season finale, which was released shortly before the winter holidays in 2012, managed to deliver both a relatable Christmas story and spectacular superhero action, while also revealing several key plot twists that made the series' narrative more complex and compelling. What happens in Arrow Season 1, Episode 9? In year's end, Arrow Season 1, Episode 9, Oliver Queen, Stephen Amell, realizes that he has been so focused on his activities as the vigilante archer known as the Hood that he doesn't notice the Christmas season beginning. He is eager to resume his family's holiday traditions after five years as a castaway on the island of Lian Yu, but his sister Thea, Willa Holland, tells him that she and their mother Moira, Susanna Thompson, were so heartbroken that they stopped celebrating the holiday after he and his father were presumed dead. This just makes Oliver more determined, and he decides to take up his father's tradition of throwing a lavish Christmas party at his family's mansion, despite Thea's obvious distaste for the idea. Meanwhile, in the flashbacks depicting his time on the island, Oliver is put in greater danger than ever when his mentor and protector Yao Fei Gulong, Byron Mann, is captured by mercenary Edward Fires, Sebastian Dunn, and an assassin dressed like DC Comics supervillain Deathstroke. Oliver's party doesn't go as planned in year's end. Back in the present, Oliver's bodyguard and crime-fighting partner John Diggle, David Ramsey, asks Oliver if he really thinks the party is a good idea given everything he is currently dealing with both as a vigilante and in his civilian life. But, Oliver remains convinced that it will be good for his family, and by extension, good for him. Although it's understandable why he would be so set on celebrating the holiday after such a horrific five years, it's obvious to the viewer that Oliver is asking too much of both himself and his family. His obsessive dedication to spreading holiday cheer is the latest example of how he bottles up and hides the long-term mental and emotional effects of his time on the island. It's bad enough that his belief that he needs to keep his secret identity from his family means that he can't tell them significant portions of what he experienced while he was away, but attempting to pretend that everything is fine to have the perfect Christmas on top of that sets completely unrealistic expectations. Predictably, the party does not turn out to be the uplifting experience he had hoped for. Oliver notices tension between Moira and his stepfather Walter, Colin Salmon. The two have secretly been arguing about Walter's discovery of suspicious, possibly illegal, activity on Moira's part. Although he tells Oliver not to worry, Walter and Moira have another argument in private. In one of the strongest scenes the series had yet delivered, Moira reveals that she is part of a dangerous conspiracy, confessing her worries that Walter continuing to investigate will get him hurt, but promising to explain everything after the party. Thompson and Salmon had been tasked with a lot of the most interesting dramatic material in Arrow's early episodes, and they do predictably excellent work playing the scenes between the two in year's end, highlighting that the characters are ultimately still deeply in love with and concerned for one another, no matter how frustrated they are. Having Skylar Fisk's rendition of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas playing in the background is a genius choice as the usually comforting song contrasts sharply with the tense content of the scene. The lyrics about reuniting with friends and family in the future emphasize how many of Arrow's characters, especially Walter and Moira, long for a return to normalcy in their lives before the devastating events later in the episode show why that is no longer possible for them.